Hello and welcome to the 21st video in this series, Programming a Chess Engine in JavaScript. So in this video we're going to implement the small functions which allow us to extract this information from our move. The first one is going to be called from square, and I'm going to use capitals here because they're a bit like, well they would be macros if we were programming in C, and I prefer to use capital letters for things like that. And I'm going to put these also on one line because they're pretty simple and short functions. So to get the from square, we simply need to return our move m bitwise anded with 0, 7f, so the hexadecimal 7f in this way as I explained in the previous video. So now I'm going to copy this to save a little bit of time and to get the 2 square. Now remember with the 2 square we said we first of all have to shift right by 7 bits and then we'll bitwise and. So We'll take our move, we'll put the shift operator in there, and a 7. So we shift first of all our move by 7 bits, and then we bitwise and with 7f to give us the 2 square. The next thing we'll want to be able to extract is the captured piece. So we'll call this captured from our move, and this time we need to, as we can see up here, shift right by 14 bits, and then we need to bitwise and simply with F to get those four bits representing the captured piece. And the last thing we need to do is we need another method to be able to get the piece we promoted to. Oops. And in this case we need to shift 20 bits as we talked about previous video and again we bitwise and with F. So pretty simple stuff. And the only other thing we need to do now is we need to define some what I've called M flag or move flags and this one's for en passant and this is simply that we have something that we can use for bitwise and operations to see that we uh, did, uh, verify whether a move is of a certain type or not. So we've said that the en passant is hexadecimal 4 followed by four zeros. We'll take a move flag and we'll put PS instead of EP for pour and start and that's then the 8 with four zeros afterwards. Then we'll have the castling, so we'll put M flag C A. And this time it's one with five, six zeros on the end, sorry. Like so. And now we want something slightly trickier. We're going to ask, is the move a capture move? So we're going to say, we're going to have a flag here for a capture move. So we'll say, M flag capture in this way, but now we have to look at, we're not going to do a shifting here, we just want to return a non-zero number if it was a capture, so if something was captured. So we need here these two bits here, but we also need these two bits here, and we want this one bit here for the en passant as well. So if we think about these two rows here, we've basically from this block of floor, if we added everything together that's a 1, we've got a 0, 1, 1, sorry, a 0, 1, 1, 1, which we know is a 7. So our number will start with a 7. If we look in the next block, we want to use the 1, 1, but not the next two. So just a 1, 1, 0, 0, which is 12, or in hexadecimal, a C. So we know it's a C and then we'll have three zeros afterwards, like so. And we need to do something similar also to ask, was the move a promotion or not? Now we could, of course, take our promoted piece and see if that's non-zero, but we've got an extra shift operation in there, which we don't really need, so it's better also to have a flag that we can use as a mask. And here the promoted move is these four bits, which is just an F, and that will be then followed by five zeros. So we'll have naught. F and one, two, three, four, five. So that's all the flags up set for our set up for our move. Now we'll define something called a no move, which will be set to zero, which we're using throughout the program as well. And now we want to make one last little function that we're going to put inside movegen.js. And this is the function that's actually going to Put, build a move together. In fact, we'll write this in jeffs.js now so we can, and we'll put it directly below here, and then we'll cut and paste it into movegen because I just prefer it to be in movegen. 
but it's easier to visualize as we're doing it now to write it with this inf the bit information above. So we're going to call it move and this is essentially going to make construct a move. So we'll have our from, we'll have our, whoops, our to, we'll have our captured, we'll have our promoted piece and we'll have what we'll call our flag. So our flag is simply, uh, whoops, our flag is simply the maybe on percent porn start castle, something like this. And what we're going to do is bitwise all of these values together and shift them appropriately. Now, if you're not familiar with bitwise or then please, please look it up or look at one of the tutorial videos I've done on the C programming. But essentially to get the move, we just return our from, there's nothing that needs to be done with the from, and then we bitwise or, and we've got to shift the two left by seven, because remember the two up here shifted seven bits to start with, and I'm sure you've got the ideas and idea now. We now bitwise or, and now we shift our captured by 14, and then we'll shift bitwise or with our promoted shifted by 20, and last but not least, we don't need to shift obviously the flag, we can just bitwise or with the flag. And that then is how we construct our move during the move generation. So this will pack all of our information together in one long, in one integer's worth of bits, taking up to 25 bits worth of information essentially here. And everything there is packed all neatly into one integer and we use these functions and flags here to get the information back out. So all I want to do now is take this function that we've written here, I'm just going to cut that function and go into movedengen.js and at the top of this I'm just going to paste the function in there like so and then save the file save the file and that's it for this video so we're now in the stage where we can start writing the move generation function so thanks very much for listening and comments questions criticisms welcome as always on YouTube